Now it's in it. Here's my audience. over McFarland, USA, from something to nothing. At last, all your hard work has paid off. McFarland, USA is an, about an aspiring coach who formed, taught, and led McFarland's first ever cost country team to a state championship. It's directed by Nikki Caro, and it was actually filmed in McFarland, USA. So first, I'm going to talk about weaknesses of the group dynamics of this movie. The first weakness that I notice is the boys don't communicate well with each other. Um, they hardly, they, they joke around and talk with each other, but they don't communicate as a team with each other. Uh, team members do not lift each other's, uh, other members of the team up. I never saw them talking about um, oh, you can do this, or you got this, or uh, no words of encouragement. And the last one is they don't believe in themselves. Uh, they were surprised when they were told how well they were doing and that they couldn't believe that they actually did that. To add, groups have strengths. Um, the strengths that I noticed in this movie is that no matter what the team did, they worked hard at it, whether it be school, picking, or the team. They worked hard at whatever they were told that they needed to do. Um, another strength is the team has a common goal. Their goal is to get better. Um, they never thought that the state championship was in their future or within their reach, but they knew that that's what they needed to do was to get better. Um, they're committed to the team. They showed up for practices. There were instances where the parent, there was an issue in the movie where the parents didn't want um, it interfered with their picking so they listed they were committed to their parents so whatever it is one of their strengths is they're, they're very committed um, to add, they also groups also have different types of leadership uh, the first thing I'm going to talk about is a designated leader it's a person appointed to the leadership position in this case it's coach White. he's the designated leader of this group he keeps the group together and keeps them moving towards the common goal. He keeps them uh, with practices. He keeps encouraging them and telling them how good they are and how much how much better they can be. The next leader is the implied leader. It's a group member to whom members defer because of his or her rank or expertise. I believe in this case, Thomas Valles is the implied leader. He's also the fastest runner. So he's the best he's the best the team has, so he is the implied leader. The emergent leader. This is a person by who ability or, or by force of personality takes a leadership role. For me, this is Danny Diaz. I chose this because in the very last race, he actually stepped up and improved and went beyond his what he normally does to help this team win the state championship. Furthermore, groups have individuals that communicate really well and then the individuals that do not. Um, so first I'm going to talk about the worst communicator, and I believe this is Thomas, which is kind of ironic because he's the implied leader in this movie, but he is also the worst communicator. He uh, kept to himself. He rarely interacted with a group conversation. You never really saw him talking to any of the other group members, just him and the coach. He also had a bad attitude in the beginning. Um, he had to be forced or um, they had to keep messing with him to get him to actually join the team. Now the best communicator. I believe in this case it's Coach White. He's always listing the team up. He's able to arrange school practices, uh, practices around school and picking so that they're able to keep their grades up and keep their parents happy so they can stay on the team. He also communicated with all the parents. He did all the communicating. I never saw any of the boys talking to their parents or, or anything about the team. It was always Coach White who was involved with them. 
Um, the problem in this movie is that there's poor communication between the teammates. That's what I felt. Um, Coach White does all the communicating. They never actually sat and talked and conversed with each other to see what they could do to get better. Um, in analyzing the problem, Coach White is a designated leader and keeps the group together. He does not encourage communication between teammates. I never saw Coach White talk to these boys about you need to lift each other up, you need to be there for each other, you need to help each other out. It was always individual one-on-one. -on -one. Um, criteria for solutions, the team must learn to communicate with each other without Coach White initiating the conversation. Coach White's always initiating every conversation. The team must communicate among themselves to become stronger. They need to meet after practices and talk to each other. That's the only way that they're going to bond and become stronger. Possible solutions. They need, uh, require each team member to speak after practices to encourage teammates with constructive criticism. I believe it would be good to have a post-practice meeting and let each, each teammate say, well, Thomas, you should do this better, or uh, Danny, you should do this better. So that, that maybe they could, or try this, this might work better. Um, another one is they could let each other know what skill could be done to improve on a particular skill. As I was saying, that could be done in the, in the practice meeting afterwards. They could talk and tell each other what needs to be done or what they think could, they could improve on. Or <coughs> use drills that require a teammate that cannot be completed without one. All the drills that I saw in the movie were ones that could be completed on their own. They didn't require a teammate. Um, so I think that's a good one. The best solution to me would be to use drills that require a teammate and cannot be completed without this. This would make these stick boys work together and rely on each other and learn to trust each other. <clears throat> uh, so first I talked about group dynamics, weaknesses and strengths. Second I talked about leadership, designated, implied, and emergent leaders. And then the communicators, the worst and the best at communicating. So Coach White, I believe Coach White taught these young men that when you work hard at something, anything is possible. Thank you for listening.